Um, I have another book review for you guys. I just filmed one, which is why I'm wearing the same outfit. I finished that book yesterday, actually, and I finished this one today. I don't usually do reviews much, so it was kind of a last-minute decision to do some, so I'm kind of catching up. But this is where I'm at in my reading pile, so I'm, I'm caught up. But, well, I will be once I finish this one. This I just finished today. It's called Shut Out by Cody Keplinger. I heard a lot of people talking about this on BookTube, uh, like, the past six months or so. And I was like, okay, cool, sounds fine, you know, whatever. And then I heard it was Alyssa Strada retelling. And then I had to have it. And I had it, and I finally read it, because my school is actually doing Alyssa Strada next month, which I'm so excited to see. So I wanted to read it before then, because I've read Alyssa Strada before, but I wanted to read this before then. And I read it, and it was awesome. Not just because it was Alyssa Strada retelling, either. So, it's Alyssa Strada retelling. It's great at that. It's amazing. It's awesome. Love it for that. It also mentions the play in the book, which is cool. But the other thing I loved about it is um, the girl who wrote it, I think she was 17 when she wrote it and like 19 when she got it published or something like that. And I like that this book is, it's a YA book. It's very true to that age group. It doesn't act like teenagers don't cuss and have sex and all of that. I mean, it, it's real teenagers. But when they go on the sex strike you start finding out stuff. Like, some of them have never had sex. Some of them don't like sex. Or whatever. Uh, and it becomes not only a retelling and not only an accurate to real high schoolers kind of book, but also it becomes a really good commentary, I guess on how especially girls are made to feel about sex in our society today, especially high schoolers. And they... they a lot of them have this, well, I feel weird because, like, where because I've never had sex, so I'm not the normal one. And they finally start talking about all of this, and they realize that there is no normal, and that everybody's different, and they start talking about all of this. And it's great. This would be, even if you don't bring up the list of Strata retelling, this would be a great book for a high schooler to read. To be like, okay, these people don't seem fake. They, they actually act like us, like other high schoolers. But also... Like I was saying, it, it talks about important stuff, too. Like, um, I don't want to give spoilers. Well, the main girl, Lissa, her best friend is considered the school slut because she likes sex, and she's not afraid to say it, basically. And she doesn't have a boyfriend. And... They realize that nobody calls the boys names when they do that stuff. And then why are they, you know, giving her crap for it and all of this? And it's it's a really good book. I definitely recommend this in general, but also because it's Alyssa Strata retelling. But this was great. I loved it. I would totally recommend reading this. Definitely go pick this up. And then pick it up again if you like Liz Estrada. Um, that's all for this. Leave me any questions you have in the comments. If your question contains a spoiler, put spoiler in big capitals first and then your question. And I'll do the same if I need to leave a spoiler to answer your question. Um, any comments you have, if you've read this, what you thought about it, that sort of thing. Um, if you don't know what the heck I'm talking about when it comes to Liz Estrada... It's a play by Aristophanes. Go read it. It's really good. Um, it's very Greek. Yeah. Anything <laughs> like that. Let me know in the comments. I can't wait to hear what you guys have to say about this. If you've read it, if you want to read it, etc. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.